What's up guys, it's Jacob or Daza X here, coming to another video. So this is going to be a new video series that I had the idea of, it's going to be called Boomkin Breakdown. Now what is this series? So what I want to do for this series guys is I want you guys to submit your fights to me and uh, basically we'll break it down, we'll do like three or so uh, fights per episode. Uh, what this really is going to be is you guys will record your fights and uh, I'll basically break it down, analyze them, and that type of thing. It'll basically be a way for you guys to, you know, learn from other people, like see if like there's something you like, you know, if you made a mistake, that type of thing. And things that you'll be able to get out of this video is that you'll learn something you might not know, right? There might be ways that you like min-max GPS when you're like moving. Uh, there could be things you're doing wrong that you don't even realize you're doing wrong. Um, so this is going to be, I think, really helpful to the whole community, especially on my channel. Uh, help everyone grow a little bit more and be better as Boomkin. But... This is what I want to do for the new series, guys. I just want to do like a little intro for y'all. And uh, this next part of the video is going to be how to submit your video, how to even record your video. Because I know a lot of people out there, they're not that good at recording videos or they don't even know how to. And uh, this will include no editing whatsoever. It'll just, you click record, you stop record, and you send in your file. That's really it. It's not that hard. And uh, hopefully this will be able to help everyone. But other than that though guys, uh, the reason that I do not want to do logs is that whenever you see a video, it's a lot easier to diagnose or at least analyze a video uh, rather than looking at a log. Um, with the videos, I can actually see like your movement placement, uh, how you're dodging DPS, how you're actually able to maximize your movement and all that. Which I feel like it'll benefit a lot of people uh, a lot more with the videos. I know a lot of people, their computers are not good enough to record video. And uh, that's why in this next part of the video, I'll be going over all the ways you can record video even if your computer is not the best. But I hope you guys look forward to this content. And if you guys are looking forward to, you know, submit a video and having me go over it, make sure you go to this next step. And uh, I'll show you guys how to install OBS and the recording software and all that. If you guys are just looking forward to seeing how it works, hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you all next time. If you guys want to stay, let's get into it. So before I get into actually how to do, like how to actually install the software and how to set it up real quick, here's what I want you guys to do. Once it's all recorded and all that, please, 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 just do this in the comments below. Once you guys have the link to the video, put in the comments below of this video that I'm about to post right now and just say, I, uh, you know, I'm having problems on this. I think I can do better on this. And also in the video, make sure you show me your Azurite traits and your talents before the fight. Make sure you record the Azurite traits and the talents. That will be a huge factor and to actually, you know, analyzing your DPS and just, it'll be a huge factor, I promise. So please guys, make sure you do that. And just comment down below, you know, I'm having troubles on this as Boomkin. I'm not sure if my rotation's right. You know, what can I do better? Just post that in the comments below along with the link. But other than that, let's get into it, guys. I hope you all enjoy. Okay, so starting out for how to actually, you know, record the software and all that. It's actually very simple. Just type OBS in, uh, in, the, Google so in the Google Chrome. That was weird how I said that. Just go to the first one, obsproject.com. I'll have the link in the description as well. All you have to really do is just install Windows, or if you're on Mac, Mac as well, but for me I'm on Windows, so I'll just install Windows. I already have it installed, but I'll just go through it again anyways. Click on it, hopefully it installs pretty quickly. Not too sure why it's taking a little bit to do it, but... Hmm. Oh well. Anyways, what you'll want to do is, once it's already, you know, once it's installed, right? Very, very simple. So here's how it is open for me. What you'll see happen is, well, that's just installed right there. So what you'll see happen is you'll have no scenes open. All you have to do is right click here, add, and just scene. We can just call it, you know, recording. Let's just call it recording. It's very, very simple. And these are all my scenes for streaming and all of that, but don't just ignore those, okay? Very, very simple. You have a new scene and you have a blank screen here. All right, for this next part, it's actually very simple. All you guys have to do right here in the sources area is right click, add, Game capture, and you'll just have one here. We just call it World of Warcraft. Okay. And it'll say mode is capture any full screen application. We want to have it set as capture specific window. Click OK. And as window, we'll want to have it set to wow.exe, World of Warcraft. And then click OK. And as you guys can see, when I move, it just goes with it. Uh, this next part right here, I'll be showing how to set up all this stuff as well, like the settings and all that, and how to actually record it. First thing you want to go to is settings. And you'll get all this stuff here. It can get pretty confusing, but I assure you it's not that bad. 
Uh, you don't have to worry about this right here because you will not be streaming any software. So just ignore the stream thing and the general tab. Next, you want to go to output. Now, output is where you will do most of the recording. And this will, you know, this is basically what you'll, it shows the encoder what you're going to be encoding, if that makes sense. Uh, I'll try to put it in layman's terms so it's pretty easy for you guys. Just don't even worry about the streaming tab. Just go to recording. So for the recording, you just want to save it to a certain spot. For me, it's saved in my local disk drive, my editing and my recording. Uh, you can save it in your desk on your desktop or whatever, anywhere that you find best or save it in, you know, just anywhere. Anywhere is fine, really. Next, what you want to do is you want to record it as a the recording format as an MP4. Uh, this makes it so it's really easy. It's not that much uh, gigabyte and all that. It's very, very simple. Next, for the encoder, you can use X26. Now, here's where it can get a little bit confusing. If you guys have a very, 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 very good processor, use X X264. If you have a very good processor and a very good video card, a graphics card like a GeForce like 1000 plus or like a 9 something, anything like that, you can use a uh, NVEHC H.264. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to click rescale output and just have it set to 1280 by 720. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to go down to here where it says right control. Honestly, guys, what I just recommend is just have it as the NV ENH, the NV EN, uh, C H.264. Just have it at that. It's really not that big of a deal. For the next, you want to go to rate control, have it as CBR. And for the bit rate, I have minus 16K because I have a very good computer. But you can just put it to 5K, okay? 5K, 10K, you know, whatever you think is best. What I highly recommend doing, though, guys, is just going into World of Warcraft, start recording, and then do some things and you know fight a monster right just fight a monster or even go into lfr right go into lfr test it out if that's too much for you i completely understand but just go fight a monster while you're while you record and then see how it turns out if the video is choppy if there's any fret if there's like any frame drops you know just drop it down a little bit okay let's just do 5000 okay for the preset you want to do high quality again if it does lag for you just do high performance okay for the profile you're going to want to do high and level, the level, sorry, you want to have is auto. And everything else will be the same. You want to click apply. Okay. Now for the audio, you can just ignore this one also because we will not be doing any audio. Now for the video, your base canvas resolution. Now this is your monitor size. You do not have to really worry about this at all. Whatever your monitor size is, it will display as this. But the output scaled resolution, you want to have to 1280 by 720 okay now this is where it can get a little confusing but just hang with me I'll try to explain it as in depth as possible now the downscale filter by linear is very very good if you do not have a good computer okay it's it's not as clean it's a little blurry as it says it's the fastest uh, encoder but it's a little blurry if your computer is not that good use by linear if your computer is pretty good, do uh, Langsos. If your computer is average, you think, just do by by cubic. You know, just test around these ones, okay? Uh, like I said beforehand, just go fight a mob, record, end the recording, and see how it looks, okay? Next, you want to do is you want to go to the copy uh, the common FPS values. For me, I have 60 frames per second because I do have a good computer. If you are noticing that you are lagging, you can do 30. You can do 30 or 60. Um, personally, I just do 60. It's not that big a deal for me. But if you notice that you are getting some frame drops, just do 30. This will take a little bit of experimentation. If, if you're noticing that, you know, it's video quality is not the end of the world. You want to have good video quality? Awesome. If you have a computer, that's fine. If you do not have the worst computer in the world, just do 30, okay? Just test it out, though. Like, I don't... It's not going to be great when I see a video and it's very, very choppy. It's going to be kind of hard to diagnose and all that. Everything else here, just leave the same. Process, priority, above normal, renderer, direct 11, uh, direct 3D 11, and everything else here should be the same, guys, okay? Everything else here, you really shouldn't touch that much. And that's really it for the recording. So what you want to do is when you record, just click the button right down here. First, what you want to do is you want to click this. And this right here, this will mute all the volume. Okay, this will mute the volume so I don't have to hear the raid and all that. Either way, I'd mute it anyways, but it's not a big deal if you don't do this part here. 
All you have to do now is click start recording. And you'll start recording. And when you're done, just click click it again. And it's done recording. Now it should be saved to whichever one you were at. Now for me, it's saved to my editing recording. And when I pull it up, and you'll start recording. And there it is. And you'll start recording. And you'll start recording. And that's it. It's very, very simple. Okay. Now we'll get to the next step. That's really it. And next step will be just uploading it to YouTube. And that's very, very easy. We'll do that right now for you guys. This next part is probably the easiest part after all. Once you guys have the recording of your video, all you have to go to right here at the very top of YouTube, just click create video or post upload video. Select files to upload. And find the file. My file is right here, so I just click this. First thing you guys want to do right here is click for it says public, just do private. And then for the title, just put your username dash boom can break down submission. Just type that, okay? Just obviously not don't type username, type your actual username. And then just type boomkin break down submission. Okay? And that's really it. Once it's done uploading, I can click done. And your video is ready to be live at. I can click this right here. And you'll start recording. And you'll start recording. And you'll start recording. And that's really it, guys. That's it. That's all it really takes. I know it can be kind of confusing at first, and I hope it's I really hope it's not that confusing for you all, but this is going to be the easiest way for me to go over your logs. I know it's kind of like, it's a lot of work just to get my shit done. But I think if you guys do this, I'd appreciate it a lot. Not only will it help you, but it'll help a lot of other people also. And it's a really good way for just everyone to get some more knowledge on the class. Um, I hope this guide helped you guys. And I hope you guys are really looking forward to this, you know, this new series I'm going to be doing. Because I, I got some feedback on it. And people wanted me to do something along these lines. And... When I say that I will analyze your video, I will really analyze your video. I will go very deep into how exactly you can do it. And every single video that I choose, it will be 100% random. I will do a, uh, like, a, like a random number generator. And I'll go through and I will show everyone on the video who is randomly selected and all that. But I hope you guys do enjoy this series. I'm, I'm looking forward to it a lot. So please... Make sure you do it. I'll be doing this in about a week from now. So you guys have about a week to do it. If this is successful, I'll do it every single week until I find that it's just if we're not doing that hot on it. But I hope you guys do enjoy this. I'm really, really, really looking forward to all the videos we get to see. And uh, yeah, I will see you all next week for this new series. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all clips. Have a great one, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.